It is a night to remember and honor and celebrate. Celebrate a storied history that is so interwoven into the fabric of the Upper Midwest. It is the Minnesota Vikings. And on this night, they are paying homage to the 50 greatest players over the first 50 years of existence, which brings back people, brings back memories. The thing that stands out to me the most is the defensive line that I played with. You know, Henry and, and Chris, um, and, uh, and how well we played together and how well we got along and what a close-knit team we were. They are all from a different era, a different time. For some, that includes being a part of Super Bowl teams. Yeah, we had some great team. It, it, it's just great to be back and uh, be in the company of all these great ball players I had on my team, like Jim Marsha, Alan Pay. That's only once in a lifetime you get to play with such great athletes. Many have flown in from different parts of the country to remember, to recapture a precious time that can never again be duplicated. Well, the Minnesota Vikings, they were, they were the, the, uh, the company that I worked for in my, in my working life that I enjoyed uh, more than, than I can even explain. Front and center on this night is one of the greatest Vikings of all time, one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. How you doing, buddies? I'm so glad to see you. Fran Tarkington is here for the night. Flew up with his family in his private plane from Atlanta. He is the feature piece, mobbed as he works the room. And he can feel it, what it meant to be part of it. Well, it uh, changed my life, uh, you know, to be a start of something this big. Went to the first uh, training camp at Bemidji and played the first game and got elected as the first Viking in the Hall of Fame. Uh, pretty big stuff. And you know, when you, when you live in a place outside of the Twin Cities, I live down in Atlanta, you kind of forget. Here, you're reminded all the time, so you get in another world, another life. Tarkington is, to the people who watched him play, the ultimate gamer. You gotta play, you gotta practice every day, you gotta play every game, you gotta get better every week. Fran Tarkington is an example of that. Played every game, he left here, he 25 touchdown passes last year, could have played longer. He picked the right time to leave and left his legacy, and he's got a purple stripe down on his back as big as anybody in this room. Right. You know, I never was the biggest, strongest, fastest guy. I was drafted in the third round as a quarterback. That means they didn't think I could play. If you're not drafted in the first round as a quarterback, they don't think you can play. And Unitas was a free agent, Montana was a third round draft choice, and Tom Brady was a sixth round draft choice. So, but that didn't bother me. I came to camp, there was a veteran George Shaw in camp that they thought was gonna be the tough starter and five other quarterbacks. And I never for a moment doubted that I wouldn't be the starting quarterback. Let's hear it, let's give a Minnesota welcome for Fran Tarkenton so he can hear it down there in Georgia. <laughs> it's chronicled in a recent book. And on this night at the Mall of America, his teammates are on hand, with Fran making an appearance via Skype, taking time to throw out accolades to his offensive coordinator, Jerry Burns. He's the best offensive coach that I've ever seen. He was more creative. He put us in the right positions. And if I'd have listened to him more, we'd have probably won more games. He, he, he's very athletically uh, put together. And uh, you know, a guy that can scramble, move around like he, like he uh, did, you know, he's got to have a hell of a body underneath that brain he had, and he, he had that. So he had both, huh? He had, oh, he had both. Yeah. He was very, very smart and very competitive. And That's the thought that permeates when you talk, Tarkington, the man who changed the position. So he, I think he revolutionized football. Uh, at that time, we had we had nothing but the pocket passers, and, and they stayed in the pocket. Uh, we rushed them, and they, you know we knew where they were. Fran came in, and and the pocket was wherever he was. He was one of the one of the most competitive guys ever. He uh, he wanted to win. That was it. In everything. Everything. Yeah. To tell the story of Tarkington, you cannot stop at the football field. He never did. He was a businessman before he quit playing the game, and he's a businessman today. I love to play, I love to work, I love to succeed, and, uh, and uh, you know, and I get knocked down like everybody else, I fail like everybody else, but I get back up, and that's part of life, and it's what it's all about, and I don't slow down one bit, I'm 70, but uh, I'm just as active, just as passionate, just as energetic as I've ever been. In that arena, he finds energy. Not every venture has been successful. 
but you sense his spirit that carried him on the football field is still alive today. Jerry Burns and Bud allowed me the freedom to work with them and innovate. We created the West Coast offense before the West Coast offense was popular. We were ahead of our time, uh, and, and that's a great tribute to Bud and Burns to give me the opportunity to use my brain and to use my skills. I do the same thing in business. I, I, I'm having more fun in business now than ever before because of the technology we've got. Uh, we can do so many more things today. It's just unbelievable. In fact, the inability to win a Super Bowl still finds a place in his life. So coming back here with this great team and Bud here and going to three Super Bowls in six years and, and should have been five, uh, that was pretty special. And do I wish we'd have won at least one? We'd have won one, we'd have won four or five. Uh, I, 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 I never forget about that. It's a driving force in my life that we came up short, and uh, uh, it's, it's, it's motivating. It is that he has never quit growing that makes him interesting at age 70, that he's still engaged, still wanting to know how to do it and do it better. It's, it, it's being ahead of the curve. It's being willing to change. Most people don't want to change. You've got to change. You got to change from season to season, from quarter to quarter, from series to series. You got to do the same thing in business, but most people don't. They get mired in in, in a, a narrow, narrow way to do business or to play football, and I, I never have, I never have given in to that. But on this night, it's about remembering what happened on a football field in a state that has adopted the team as its number one sports entity, with a history rich and raw and real, like the franchise's first ever game against the Chicago Bears. And we just didn't beat the Bears that day. We wore them out, 37-13. They cheer because they were moved by the memories. The people that sit on stage made Sunday afternoons a happening. With a quarterback that made you believe. Franz was a, a, a smart quarterback. He threw a catch of a ball. He, ne he never tried to knock you down with the ball, and he, he knew the defenses, and he and I, we, we clicked. We, 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 we was a good team, and uh, we put up some great numbers in my four years here. They were the toast of the town, the area, at times the entire country. And it was the scrambling quarterback from Georgia who made sure they stayed there, in a sacred place reserved for the very best. Fran Tarkin, I owe everything that I did in the football field to Fran Tarkin. He's just, and, and Fran and I talk to this day, I talked to him two days ago, and he is just, uh, you know, I grew up watching him, and I'll tell you one funny story, is when I first came to this team, uh, I called one of my t uh, guys that I grew up with, and the guy goes, so hey, you're on the Vikings, huh? He goes, you know Fran Tarkenton? I said, yeah, I know Fran Tarkenton. He's on the team. He goes, you don't know Fran Tarkenton. I said, yeah, I know him. I'm on the team. I know him. It's Fran Tarkenton. He goes, yeah, but does he know your name? <laughs> Life to the Max is brought to you by LifeTouch. Photography for a lifetime.